Ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, here we go with the early part of this round. And from the moment Rafael Fazeev stepped foot in the UFC, expectations were placed upon this man. Championship expectations, according to some. And man, has he delivered. A lot of people reference that spinning wheel kick knockout of Brad Riddell. As technical and sound a striker as there is in this lightweight division. So there it is, the kickboxer successfully defends the first takedown attempt by the more balanced fighter. He said he might have to play defense early. Did it well there. Well, he's expecting the wrestler to fatigue. As the takedowns fail, he starts to get more tired. Then he will let his hands go, elbows go, knees go, and use all of his weapons to try and finish his fight. Now some separation from his clinch position. Canva gets the early takedown. Back up again, you can't hold a good man down. Just misses with the jab there. Fast, hard head kick there. Nice straight right, Lance. That hook was bad. Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Some nice power there with the left hook upstairs. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Oh, he just heard him. He just heard him. Oh, he dove, and he lands. Right back. Right back. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Gamera. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transitions. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. Thing. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Oh, he's staying busy here, connecting with a barrage of punches. Two minutes to go in the round. Oh, nice. Gamrot's eye is closing up. Just out of range with that left hook. Right hand is there over the top. He's got great kicks also. He needs to be throwing more kicks in this fight. He hasn't thrown uh, many at all. Oh, now the hook in the clinch by Fuzzy. Oh, nice. Gamrot's cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, he didn't like that one. When he gets close and he throws, he lands. Oh, and he found the target again. Now they separate. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Man, he ate another shot right on that cut. You think his vision has been compromised at all? You know, it, it has to, right? Because you got to be able to see to fight. And right now, he's been targeted in that area, and you can see him worsening. And the strike lands clean. Back in the clinch, look for him to hang on his opponent's head and try to wear at his gas tank. Oh, man, I'm starting to feel bad for the canvas as he lands another takedown there. He landed another takedown, and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio, the ability to be able to keep this pace 
over and over as he hits his kick. There's the end of the round, and hopefully not the end of the fight. He doesn't look as handsome as he did when he walked out. That is a severe gash on his face. All right, so as the cut man gets to work, we'll re-rack some replays from the previous round. Well, he's got some work to do. The cut man's going to have to work a miracle because this guy was on the receiving end of some real damaging shots. And if he doesn't do something different defensively, it's going to get worse. And if it gets worse, the fight may be stopped. You ready to fight? You ready? Do Second it. round underway. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. I mean, you got to be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time, I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. The official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop to this contest at 11 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Rafael!